welcome back so this is a car boot sale uh, Very, um, I think is a very British traditional thing. So uh, I, I got moved. Uh, I moved pitch yesterday because where I was parked before the Wi-Fi is not very good in the field, and I'd accidentally parked in a kind of proper space that I'm not meant to. It's a little bit annoying. I mean, I'm paying probably less than everyone else, but I couldn't see any electricity points or anything, so. I didn't think I'd, you know, I was still in the same field, but I was just, anyway, that's all right. Hey, I can't complain at £10 a night. So, so yeah, this is a car boot sale. I think, like I said yesterday, they've become more like a market, like a trade fair than kind of traditional, just selling out the boot of your car. I mean, there, there will be some people here doing that, but then you get people like those guys there selling all the plastic stuff. The pitch is not going to come out great today, it's quite overcast. They probably think I'm filming for the trading standards. <laughs> so yeah, they're kind of probably traders, and whereas these guys, are, this is out your boot your car. Anyway, I'm going to put the camera down and have a good look. Just thought I'd show you what a British car boot sells like. Always a, like a food truck here. There's actually quite a lot of people with their boots, with their own stuff. I don't know, it's meant to be antiques as well. I don't know a lot about antiques, but I kind of wish I did. Because antiques sell really well in France and Spain, from the UK. I could take a whole lot over there, but all right. Catch you later. Okay, that car boot sale was uh, rubbish. <laughs> a load of, a load of crap for sale, basically. <laughs> so no worries. I'm going to uh, head into Stratford and. There's a few, there's always stuff that I need to buy for the van, <laughs> but uh, there are a few things I need, kind of, sooner than later, so I'm going to do that today, and do some more video editing later. Okay, catch you later. Hello. Oh, probably can't see, but... had a complete disaster with this water bottle that's that burst it's gone everywhere inside the van <laughs> had to like rip up the the floor bit of a nightmare <laughs> oh well seems like one thing after another at the moment okay so hello welcome back hello so it's been a bit of a crazy morning uh, <laughs> so i left stratford upon avon decided to go to ikea in coventry uh, i filled up bought a new bottle of water a new like uh, water carrier jug it was quite cheap and i kind of realized why because it flooded the back of my van which I'm very paranoid about because it smells a bit musty in here already even before which I am hoping to address just by airing it more but um, you can see down there the water I need to clean that out yeah so a bit of a disaster so that's why everything is this is a culprit so it's fine to feel that when I'm on camp but not, it's not um, something to take 
in transit <laughs> so the water was, was dripping out even then even though I've just done 20 miles on the motorway hopefully it's just gonna go I mean this is already looking dry now so I'll just keep the windows down as I go along so anyway I went back to Ikea because the bed my mattress just I bought the cheaper version of the mattress because uh, you know you're probably getting to know me by now that I'm quite a cheap Charlie and yeah sleeping is one thing I should not cheap so I got the cheaper mattress but it was quite uncomfortable to the point where my back was starting to hurt um, I really like firm mattresses I may have said this before in a previous video that I prefer them I really like the beds in Asia because they're always so firm <laughs> a lot of people actually complain about them but so anyway I made a swap paid a uh, 20 pounds more for this one so I'm hoping it has more um, support for my back uh, I also bought Kallax yeah, there so those units what you can see in front I bought one but just with two which is going to go in that hole there so yeah it's been a bit of a mad morning I'm um, kind of a uh, yeah, I've just had a lovely roast dinner, <laughs> Carberry. Um, again, I'm I'm quite cheap, Charlie, so I wouldn't go on a Sunday because they almost double their prices. So one of the luxuries of like being your own boss is that you you know you don't have to um, do stuff when other people do stuff. So like take ferries, holidays, flights, eating out. Anyway, I'm going to hit the road and like I said, I hopefully that's going to just soak up that last bit of water. Hopefully that's it and it's not too bad under there, but just a, just a bit of a nightmare. So anyway, all good now, all happy. Looking forward to sleeping on my new bed later, new mattress, so, and tidying all this crap up. <laughs> okay, y'all, catch you later.